Welcome back. Uh, for those who are just joining us, my name is Kyle B. Thompson. I am the programming director of the Fort Myers Beach International Film Festival. Uh, all week long, we've been doing virtual uh, interviews with some of our official selection filmmakers this year. Uh, we are just a little over a week. Um, tomorrow will be a week away from the Fort Myers Beach International Film Festival. So I think I, again, speak for everybody who is in cold weather right now. If you're flying down uh, to Fort Myers Beach, like I will be on next Tuesday to enjoy some warm weather. I hope you guys are all excited. Uh, but before we hit kick that off, I have an awesome filmmaker who has this is a, a really interesting and unique film. Uh, Curtis Motsky, I hope I landed that correctly, uh, has an awesome film called Sync. And we're going to bring him on and let's say hi. What's up, Curtis? How are you? Hey, how's it going? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. I hope I, I got your nat last name correct on that. You one. killed it. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. Perfect. Uh, well, first off, uh, we're obviously going to play the trailer for Sync. But uh, for those who are watching, tell us a little bit about the story, because uh, I think it's such a unique, uh, not only a good story, but like how you told the story is super intriguing and unique. So tell us a little bit more. Totally. So it's, uh, it's uh, about a 16 minute short that kind of is all told from the overhead perspective of a bathroom sink, which is my bathroom sink here at my studio apartment in Chicago. Um, but uh, oh, nice. it's basically kind of a zombie transformation movie is kind of how I describe it, where you kind of, you know, this guy shows up with kind of a bite on his arm and then uh, shit hits the fan kind of after that. That's awesome, man. Yeah, it was, it's such a, uh, I, I was just telling you earlier, like I, you know, being a program director for the past three years, I, we had the opportunity and, and the honor of seeing all these really great short films. I can honestly say I've never seen a short film that has been obviously told from perspective of a sink. Uh, but also told well, and it kept you intriguing. It kept you like interested in the entire 60 minutes, uh, which I thought was awesome. So I would love to play the trailer, and then I want to talk about you know you, and then obviously like the inspiration behind this and what gave you this idea. So let's take a look at the trailer for uh, Sync. Sweet. Dude, that is, is such an awesome film. Um, so Sing plays Thursday, April 20th at 9 p.m. in our, one of our short film blocks. So, dude, first off, what gave you this idea to tell a story from the perspective of a sink? Uh, that's a good question. I mean, the, the genesis of the film definitely came out of uh, being stuck at home during quarantine. So it's technically a quarantine film. Um, and I wanted to make something kind of on my own that was different and kind of a challenge because I had seen some other genre horror films that were like kind of just like regular little horror films or like if they mentioned COVID, it was very kind of like blatant and stuff like that. I wanted to see yeah. if I could do something in a different way and just like, I don't know why I think, I think it the genesis of it came out of like repetition, right. Of like when we're on lockdown and stuff of like waking up, going through the motions, you know, like, but not really having anything to do during the day a lot of the time. Right, because right. For me, I'm like, I'm a freelancer. So like most of my, you know, work is like shooting like event stuff or doing, you know, video work like that, which I can do. So um, that was the initial kind of thought. And then just like, I was like, huh, zombies, you know, like have some kind of like, but not, yeah, also, yeah. but also not really like, um, you know, that being outright, like that's just also an interpretation of the film. It's not outright about that kind of a, a thing but um but then also like thinking about the fact that okay i don't really want to act myself in this too much right right um, right so i was like how do i do that without you know being on camera the whole time so i just thought that's, of that overhead that's stuff. awesome you know it's interesting you know i think we have, we see a lot of these films right we're, we're, it's 2022 so we're starting to see films now that are that were made during lockdown or like you know right before lockdown and i think you know you see, definitely see a lot of, of, of films that are very clearly made in lockdown right it was you know one person then but i think you took that to a whole different level of, of a perspective of you know of, of the sink um and I, I sort of like, so it was, was it just you? Was it just, I mean, like, are you like a one man show for that? Whole? Like, were you, it was, 
yeah, it was entirely me. So I, I shot it in one day, um, you know, in my own apartment. Um, luckily, I had kind of a lot of the the gear and rigging all myself. So like I, the camera was just like on a C stand over my, um, you know, my bathroom sink and stuff like that. And I just kind of like meticulously mapped it all out. So I knew kind of like where it was going and I shot it pretty much in order just in one day. But yeah, that's incredible. And did you, you do the makeup yourself as well. huh? Yeah, that was the most uh, challenging part, probably, because I know nothing about makeup or, you know, like wow. those kind of effects. So I totally had to like that out on my own. And I'd, I've never even really like worked with blood and stuff before. So like I was like just really winging it with that stuff. But Dude, <laughs> it was it fun to kind of experiment with, though. It yeah. looks incredible, man. Like I would have assumed you had like a you know, makeup artist. So I'm actually like just putting together. I don't know if I fully knew that you were the actor in the film yeah. too. Like I'm realizing that right now, but uh, I don't think I actually put that together. That's so cool. you didn't know. So that's good. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, no, not at all. I mean, so like I mean, now when you said it was in your apartment, like oh, I bet you, yeah. you this is you too. So that's that's incredible, man. I think that's that's an. So did you have like an uh, in you know I know you had obviously uh, a returning filmmaker from 2020 joining us who helped produce this. Do you have any other outside of that person in you? Do you have an editor or like, or is no, this mainly just you? It was mostly just me and I edited it myself. Um, and then, yeah, Nate Gilbert was uh, kind enough to come on board and kind of help with, you know, polishing the thing overall. The main uh, collaboration I had was with my composer, uh, Tony Scott Green, who's local to Chicago. And he, okay. he did a great job kind of like adding so much like texture to the film like that. Um, and then I worked with this guy, uh, Kyle Delso, who's at a, a company called Third Beacon here in Chicago, and he helped mm -hmm. finalize just like the color and sound mix overall. Um, but yeah, it was weird as far as like production. It was just like, you know, and like I, I consulted a couple of friends who like had actually done makeup and people like Nate and stuff like that, who I was like, is this going to work or is this, <laughs> you know, how do because I didn't even have a script, too. That was the other thing. I didn't really um, oh, wow. have a traditional because it, it didn't feel like it made sense because there was no like dialogue and it's just like all these moments. Right. Um, but what I did have was, was an extensive, extensive shot list, which was also weird because it's like one shot. Right. right, um, right. But there was like, I was like, okay, so what props do I have? What, you know, makeup or whatever. And like, do I change clothes? So there's a lot of continuity stuff that I normally don't have to think about, but I have to like keep track of. And then at the end of it, it was like, Oh right, I have to like act in this too. And so right. it was, so I was like, that was the hardest thing, just like keep track of all those different elements and like lighting and stuff, switching between night and day, and um, you know, being the DP and everything like that. That was definitely a challenge. But dude, that's crazy, man. I don't like. I'm like I'm realizing this. I'm learning right now uh, that you did all of this. So this is that makes I think the the because the, the film's unique in itself, and I think knowing that it was just sort of a your this. I mean, this is, it is the perfect lockdown film. You can't really uh be more like a one-man show than you in this in this particular case totally. so so what do you i mean so first, like right uh i know you you do a lot of freelance work what what is your sort of like your niche i mean are you, uh, are you a cinematographer i mean you mentioned you're you haven't ever acted before but i mean you might yeah. want to you know <laughs> I, yeah like that's weird like i acted in high school and stuff like that so i can think of like oh this is my first real role in a while um but like oh wow. yeah i mean I'm mostly in terms of freelance stuff i do i do kind of like do a lot of kind of one man band stuff. And so like, I, I do, I do shoot other people's stuff. I've produced a couple micro budget features and now I've mostly been focusing on writing and directing my own stuff. And then, yeah, also during quarantine, I like, you know, like I wrote a feature and I wrote a pilot and stuff like that. That's so awesome. because, you know, it was easier to do than, you know, go out and risk. Right. Like, yeah, <laughs> totally. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah so I definitely that's... jumped around. No, I think that's good. I mean, that, the reason I asked that question, right. Cause you know, being like you mentioned earlier, I've never, you know, I've never did makeup before, but I honestly think the makeup looks great. It looks, it's fantastic. So I was like, what? You're like, a, you can wear every hat and be really good at it. So there's some good YouTube uh, tutorials for makeup. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> um, so, so you, you, I mean, it's also starting some tracks. I mean, you guys were in Chicago International Film Festival, which is, which is a very, you know, notable film festival out there. Uh, so are, is this, the, you know, the beginning of its festival circuit? Are we towards the end? Or, I mean, what's the sort of the future for this project? I think it's, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be in a lot of other festivals. Yeah. I just want to know where you're, what's going with it. Totally. Yeah. Like, so it basically mm -hmm. premiered at Chicago International in October, um, which was great to like, 
premiere and Academy qualifying festival and stuff like that. It recently, um, it recently screened at Athens, Ohio, uh, which was also oh, cool. super cool, which is another Academy, Academy qualifying festival. And I, I wasn't able to attend, but the uh, programmer there emailed me. I was like, how'd it go? And he was like, um, it was great. A couple people uh, walked out and I was like, yes, <laughs> they, just couldn't, they just couldn't take how uh, intense it was. I was like, I feel yeah. like it's a rite of passage for a film like this. But um, but no, we screened a few others. Um, film Quest, Horror Hound. Um, being able to see it with like a live audience is super fun to, again, hear those kind of like cringy, like uncomfortable moments. But, um, but yeah, we're still out to quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of festivals. So we'll see how long it goes. I usually don't want to, you know, hold out too long before I kind of like make it fully, fully public, but, uh, yeah, Yeah. a little bit of shelf life through the summer. That's awesome, man. Yeah. It's, it's, like I said, I, I, it's, it's, no wonder it's getting all these Academy qualifying festivals. It's a unique story. I mean, it just like just told from that perspective. And I think that's what really makes films uh, really good. And what really stand out for us as a programming team is right. Films that just make us think, man, that's a new way, different way of seeing yeah. it. Right. Yeah. Um, I, again, I've never seen a film that's been told from the perspective of a sink before. And that's like, I think that was uh, the thing too. It was something that like, I didn't know if it was going to work even while I was making it and right, right. While I was editing, I was like, is, is this going to resonate or is this going to work with people? But yeah, I think that's a good place to like start with as far as like, is this a challenge in some, some way? I've definitely never made a film like this and I want to see if I could do it. So. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome, man. Um, so I, yeah, I ask this question a lot to every, every filmmaker, right? Cause we, we, we put, I think filmmakers are, they put everything they have in, into films. And, and I think that speaks more to you than anybody at this point, being that you did everything on this project. So what are you, what are you most proud of, you know, of this film, man? Oh man. Um, <laughs> again, you can't say fact. everything either. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say just the fact that it works. Um, <laughs> you yeah. know, at the end of the day that like, uh, you know, th- again, that people like, you know, are so uncomfortable watching it that they, they can, a couple people have walked out. <laughs> I was like, that's yeah. kind of cool. Um, but I am actually, I am particularly proud of the makeup thing because it is being from a, uh, like a position where like, okay, I've, I, I know where, what I was doing a little bit with camera and lighting and some other stuff like that. But like, again, not really having done the makeup before. And I mean, I used like a piece of prosciutto and stuff as like some flesh at one point and like different kind of like, Dude. like stuff like that. That's really kind of gr- like. There's like a little bit of, uh, I don't want to spoil it, but there's a little bit of like uh, pus at one point too, which is like a little piece of banana. And I don't know how much it reads on camera, but uh, playing around with those elements was super fun. So I'm proud of that. Yeah, I can tell you, it, just, it did not read off as prosciutto or uh, banana. So you got that. That's, I didn't, that's incredible, man. That's enough awesome. safe blood on stuff, then, you know, I think it, I think it hides everything, right? <laughs> No, for sure, for sure. Yeah. But no, I mean, like, like our team here, like knowing this right now, that you did the makeup i would have assumed it was like a professional makeup artist so that was actually one of my questions for you is like hey how'd you you know get the makeup or who was your makeup like you know those are some of the questions i see but i mean that it was it was you and some bruschetta and or bruschetta and uh, some banana that I mean, that worked out <laughs> it was very it was a very it was a weird day my apartment was a mess at the end of it <laughs> <All this crap laughs> Fair enough. so weird awesome man well, Curtis, I won't hold up your time as much, but man, thank you so much for, for joining us and, uh, and sharing your film. And like I said, I, I'm really excited to see sort of where it goes. Um, you know, I'm sure it's going to, it's going to get into a ton of festivals. Again, the perspective, that film being told from that perspective is something we've never seen before. Um, so if we want to keep up with the, obviously the progress of sync, you know, where do we, how do we follow you? Are you on social media? Is the film have the social media? Like if we want to, where do we keep up? Totally. The, um, the film doesn't have its own specific kind of social media thing. Uh, but uh, you can find more on curtismotsky.com or uh, my Instagram, which is just at Curtis Motsky. Same thing as my, you know, Twitter. Um, and that's probably going to have the most updates and stuff like that. Awesome, man. Well, Curtis, thank you again for joining us and uh, sharing your film. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll see you soon. Awesome. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, guys, thank you again uh, for joining us. You guys, again, playing Sync plays uh, April t- uh, 28th at 9 p.m. It's an awesome film. It's so intense. It's, it's freaky. It keeps your interest in uh, for the whole 16 minutes, all from the perspective of a sync. So uh, check it out, guys. Guys, I am signing off. We are one week away from the Fort Myers International Film Festival. So for those who are attending, I will meet you there in person. Uh, we'll see everybody soon. Uh, tickets go on sale tomorrow. So uh, stick around. we got a whole week.